Understandably, most expectations were set on scene. Last year's Sheffield champion, Jesus Oliveira's, lift the championship trophy as the champion of champions. However, such was not the case. Gustav, who has been a direct challenge throughout Jonathan Keiko's dominant reign within the 90 or 93 kilograms weight class for the past two seasons at individual major championships, finally stepped out of the IPF world champion shadow after an enthralling performance by becoming 2024 Sheffield champion. From the outset, as stated in a prior video on the channel, it was stated that there would be a tight race between all the 93 kilograms athletes to a possible podium finish, which it was. Initially, with the last season's Sheffield third standing, Gavin Adin, who had a baseline total projection between 881.5 kilograms to 882.96 kilograms, that's if the athletes best season total wasn't taken into consideration. However, if Gavin's last season best total was purely taken into account, his baseline projection rose within the region between an extraordinary 902 kilograms to 903.5 kilograms versus Jonathan's almost similar baseline projection of 900.96 kilograms to 902.12 kilograms which would qualify both athletes as primary prospectives for a possible podium finish. However, in the case of powerlifting or sports in general, nothing is guaranteed. From the commencement of the championships, Gustav responded to Jonathan's opening squat of 285 kilograms with a squat of 300 kilograms, which is both 5 kilograms or 1.69% above his opening at last season's World Classic Championships and 2.75% above his average opening of 291.96 kilograms. His training has been on fire recently. Hasn't had to travel too far. I talked to Alex Erickson, his coach, and... Oh yeah, wow. That was the easiest statement. I was, so I was just about to say, they told me strongest he has ever been, and that is scary. Yeah. Gustav further increased his second attempt by 15 kilograms, which is 2.31 kilograms above his average squat increment of 12.69 kilograms, with a squat of 315 kilograms. Consequently, putting himself on pace to match his baseline or a minimum squat projection of 325.38 kilograms to 325.86 kilograms plus placing Gustav ahead of the IPF world champion who unsuccessfully took a second attempt of 297.5 kilograms which is the first time since 2018 that Jonathan has failed or been given three red lights on his second attempt. Keiko as focused as I've ever seen him this week. You know, some people you come, you say hello. Today, I seen him and I knew he was so in his own. I'll yeah. talk to you after, yeah, kind absolutely. sir. Absolutely. Giving the don't approach me vibes, I'm in the zone and that means he's ready to fight. Let's see how 297.5 moves. His best, 305. But that was a couple of years ago now. Let's see if he's pacing to turn back the clock. Now it's a tough one. He, would you give him another seven and a half there? You know what, I talked to him. Um, it was definitely work. Five kilos is probably there. Yeah, 302.5. would be safer. The thing is, when it comes to Kaiko, he's so good at knowing how much he has in the tank. Again, his success rate so high it's gone nine for nine so many times with international judging on top of that so we talk about his consistency but of course that's the absolutely perfect attempt selection he's doing there gustav headland 315 and gustav made Wait, easy work at 300. they've overturned kaiko's lift oh, wow that's a surprise and the crowd lets the jury know they're not they in approval like and 
I didn't see any infractions myself. He, he was, uh, he got one red for depth, I think. I think it was depth. Well, that boosts the other 93s. Yeah. Kaiko, who never misses on his second attempt. That is unheard of for Kaiko to miss a lift on his second. I've seen he put 300 in for his third anyway, but. Now, if Kaiko misses his third, he's really far back. 315 for Gustav, and now the 93s have an opportunity here. Can, can Gustav third? take it? Yeah, I think he can. 15 kilos barely slowed him down. Three white lights, so the jury cannot intervene. They can only jump in if there's at least one red. Yeah. Gustav slamming the door shut on the jury. And the battle of 93s just got a whole lot more interesting, didn't it, Joe? Nonetheless, even after witnessing both Carlos and Gavin demolishing the IP of squat record for their second attempts, Gustav relentlessly maintained his sights on the main prize, whereby the tenacious athlete increased his third squat attempt by a margin of 10 kilograms, which is 3.08 kilograms above his average increment for his third attempts, with a PR squat of 325 kilograms. A fight is on should he hit this. It really is. And again, Gavin Aiden, always chasing that world record, hit it on a second attempt. The 93s, so close right now. On a day that Keiko's vulnerable, the other 93s seem to be leveling up. Let's see if Gustav can hit this. You think Cammy can really challenge for the podium? Oh, wow. Great squat from Gustav. Three white lights. Again, the jury cannot intervene. And that's clean lifting by Sweden's favorite son, Gustav Hedlund. The athlete would end the first round of his campaign at sixth position with a margin of negative 1.51% for the squat discipline and an overall margin of 36.60% once compared with the IP of total record of 888 kilograms, which may give some credence to continue to overlook the athlete amongst other reasons. Moving to the bench press, the prospect of Gustav standing on the podium appears even more to be a distant stream, considering Jonathan, who holds the bench press world record, specifically prior to competing at the Sheffield Championships, commanded a sizable bench press lead advantage of 10.49% and or 25.5 kilograms above Gustav, alongside a baseline bench press projection between 245.82 kilograms to 248.85 kilograms, possibly extending the world record bench press by a further 2.82 kilograms to 5.85 kilograms versus Gustav's PR bench press prior to competing was stood at 217.5 kilograms. <laughs> Nevertheless, the athlete opened with 197.5 kilograms, slightly more conservative than his opening bench press at last season's IPF World Classic Championships, where in which Gustav's opening bench stood at 200 kilograms. Body like a Greek god. If Gustav goes nine for nine, he's gonna be very difficult to beat. And Team Sweden are pre precise with their attempt selection. I was about to look to see who the Ventress World Record holder was, but of course it's Kaiko, isn't it? And that was smooth. He's got plenty of room to grow there. I can barely hold back a smile. Jonathan, on the other hand, seemingly fully conscious of his lead advantage opened with an incredible 235 kilograms bench press, which is both 14.46% or 29.69 kilograms above his average opening of 205.31 kilograms and five kilograms more than last season's 
war record bench press performances. But a lot can happen to the bench press and the deadlift, and Keiko is a fighter. That was nice. Easy. I think the reliable bench press world record is in sight. Ultimately, signal his intention, which was made apparent with Jonathan's world record breaking second attempt of 243.5 kilograms. Yeah, it's very rare you could pull Jonathan Kaiko out of the pocket. He's usually so consistent. World record on his second attempt. Be in interesting to see how this moves and where he goes on his third. Well, maybe he's making up the ground from having missed a squat. He's definitely lower than he expected on squat. Bench press is a, it's a tough event to cover ground in, though. It really is. But he's a great bencher. And one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, he probably has a bit more room. A couple more kilos in there, I think. <laughs> the streak continues for Jonathan Keiko's bench world records. While Gustav may have received three red lights for a second attempt of 210 kilograms due to comments in the lift before giving the command. Into this, he said if there's any small nags, it's in the upper body bench press. So let's see how 210 moves. So this matches the second attempt in Malta. He did 210 there. Now we can't hear the referee's calls, but was that too fast? Ah, yeah, you beat the count. Yeah. Nice call, Joe. You didn't even hear it. You just thought to yourself. But I saw the referee's hand, and he definitely went before it. I mean, sometimes the uh, the command is out of um, sync with the motion. It's a shame because that yeah. moves so well. Yeah. However, the athlete appeared quite undaunted for his third attempt of 215 kilograms, which is slightly above his projected top end margin of 212.79 kilograms, by a difference of 2.21 kilograms and or 1.04%. Opting to go up despite missing 210. Two and a half kilos below his personal best. And I told you, coming in, if they thought there was any situation they need to be wary about, it's the upper body. Had a fantastic squat, squat session. If he leaves bench press with 197.5, he's behind. Now, was it good stuff that jumped the command? It was a command jump, but the press looked good. Yeah, I can understand why they've gone up then. Did he do it again? Oh! Let's I want to see if his butt stayed down. It did, two to one. One of the refs might have got, he breathes a sigh of relief. In some instances, Gustav's third attempt of 215 kilograms represents a slight regression that's if the athlete's projected baseline between 219.83 kilograms to 220.39 kilograms, which is based upon Gustav's last season's bench press of 217.5 kilograms, is considered. After both rounds of the championships, it still appears that Gustav had an immense uphill battle. For example, even after the defending champion, Ezu slipped into seventh position after his best bench press attempt of 255 kilograms due to Ezus being 12.52 percent below the IPF bench press record of 291.5 kilograms the athlete still managed to maintain his overall lead with a 63.60 percent margin of the total IPF record in parallel to Gustav who had a better bench press experience who placed him in fifth position for best bench press with a margin of 11.52% below the IPF bench press record of 243 kilograms. Therefore, an added 215 kilograms bench press to his overall total was only enough to maintain Gustav's sixth position with a 60.81% total margin. Whilst Jonathan, who managed to extend his bench press raw record, moved from 12 positions 
to a whopping second place after the second round was finalized. Others ahead were Anatoly, Delaney Wallace, who slipped from second position to fifth place, and Gavin Adin. So how did Gustav accomplish the unthinkable in being crowned champion of champions at Sheffield? Comprehensively, prior to competing, comparatively, Gustav's projected total baseline stood at a relative 0.704% below the PRIP of total record of 888 kilograms, with a projected low end total of 881.74 kilograms and 0.238% above the mentioned IP of total record with a top end projected total of 890.12 kilograms, which essentially placed him at ninth pick or favorite for winning the championship title out of 12 other fellow competitors. With the advent of Azus, who had a less than ideal bench press experience, wasn't able to progress his path to a seemingly clear avenue to the crown. We've seen people miss and come back and hit. And there it is. <laughs> and that time it was easy. Did he rack it? Yes. And I. No. Nope. What's it? He racked it too early. Possibly being conscious of the urgency in securing a podium finish with an opening deadlift for 327.5 kilograms, Gustav managed to bulldoze his way to an overall second placement with a total margin of 97.691%. After being positioned, at sixth place throughout the first two rounds of the championship. Keiko to catch up. Not impossible, but difficult. Oh my goodness. That moves really well. Kind yeah, of best he... is 345, but it looks like he's got more in the tank today. And he's been looking for revenge on that 2021 Worlds. The lead advantage between first place Timothy Monigati and Gustav, after all first deadlift attempts had been attempted, stood at 0.158%, which simply reflects the magnitude of competition between all opponents. Gustav's deadlift opening of 327.5 kg, which is above the athlete's average opening of 312.96 kg, by a margin of 4.65% and 7.5 kg above last season's IPF World Classic Championships deadlift opening of 320 kg. Also, Gustav's opening of 327.5 kg, which is indeed 12.32% below Chance Mitchell's IPF deadlift record of 373.5 kg, was the heaviest in his competition history. Remarkably, the determined athlete's mentioned opening was enough to position himself at an overall second place ranking with an advanced total margin of 97.691%. Ahead of the persistent crowned champion was Timothy Monigati with 97.849% of the IPF's total record. But Jonathan wasn't far behind, who was sitting at third position with a 97.466% margin of the IP of total record, a comparative difference of 0.383% between Gustav and the world champion. It was clearly evident that the championships were going to be a bitter battle to the end. The usually overlooked IP of world champion, Delaney Wallace, not to be upended after dropping precipitously to 11th overall position after the first round of deadlift attempts, amazingly broke Russell Ory's IP of total record of 841 kilograms, with an added deadlift of 330 kilograms to Delaney's total of 842.5 kilograms, pushing him to first place with a 0.178% margin above the IP of record of 841 kilograms. But the way 310 moved. And 
there it is. Redemption for Delaney Wallace. Delaney Wallace leads Sheffield. No more doubt. He's been chasing this record. So many questions about his title reign. Timothy dropped the second place with a close 789.5 kilograms total to Taylor Atwood's 790.5 kilograms record total, which equates to a 99.873% margin. Jonathan, firmly asserting his willingness to stand on the podium, responding to all the front runners with a second deadlift of 340 kilograms, which resulted with a new total of 885.5 kilograms, which equates to a margin of 99.718%. Therefore, inching him ever closer to his IP of total record of 888 kilograms and retaining his third standing. If he hits and Gustav hits, he'll take the lead on Gustav and try to retain and hold. This is gonna be dramatic. And Kaiko assumes the lead in the battle of the 93s. And that was solid as well. He's definitely got a little bit more left. At that juncture of the championships, the marginal difference between second place Timothy and third standing Jonathan stood at 0.155%, whilst Delaney, who may have surprised some of the spectators of the sport by his performance, was sailing ahead with a 0.46% marginal difference between Sheffield's overall second standing, Jonathan. However, not too far behind, prowling was Gustav, who in response to Jonathan's deadlift of 340 kilograms, deadlifted 342.5 kilograms, increasing his second attempt by 15 kilograms, which is 1.73 kilograms below his historical average second attempt increments of 16.73 kilograms. He's a real candidate for the podium now, Gustav Hedlund. Made easy work of that one, Joe. And Gustav pre previously has hit 345, so Keiko actually has a bigger deadlift. Also, his second deadlift attempt of 342.5 kilograms is relatively 3.97% and or 13.08 kilograms above his average second attempt of 329.42 kilograms. All of this was enough to just for a fourth overall position with a margin of 99.38%, which equates to a total of 882.5 kilograms with the defending champion position. Shockingly diving to 11th position, the opportunity to lift the Sheffield Trophy swung wide open for the feel of competitors. 410, he's made look like an opener in training. Now I'm not sure if it's telling if he's stretching his back or not. I'm not gonna read too much into that. We've seen him absolutely smoke 420 in training. This is 380. We give him a 1113 total. Oh, oh wow. lost his balance. Just a little too quick. Strength looked like it's there. With a deadlift reliability of 49.04%, it shouldn't be much of a surprise witnessing the giant of an athlete failing any such deadlift attempt or attempts. Oh, he's kind of back on his heels again, but he makes it. Three by lights. So yeah. that cements his squat world record as well. That's right. Otherwise, he'd have had to give that back if he didn't manage to give a dead, get a deadlift in. After the second round of deadlift attempts, it appears that the podium finish was in favor of Delaney, Timothy, and Jonathan. Therefore, it all came down to the last attempt of the championships. Keep in mind that Gustav's baseline deadlift projection stood between. 348.90 kilograms to 349.66 kilograms. Witnessing the defending champions' regressive performance, including being conscious of a 0.339% difference between both Jonathan and Gustav, 
after the second round of deadlifts. Plus further witnessed, Jonathan wrenching the first position from Delaney with his final deadlift of 347.5 kilograms. She's like, well, I think I'll let him out there a couple seconds. It's not that easy. Gavin will be a tough guy to bully off the stage. And Jonathan Keiko, 347.5 for the win. This will move him from third to first. Of course, it'll be temporary with some other lifters left to come. But this should be within reach for Keiko. Yeah, he's done this way before. He's looked good. This has been a well-played battle plan. It'll put him, at, put him at 893 and really force Gustav's hand. Currently, only Delaney is past the world record total. He's locked it out. And Keiko moves in through. And that is why Jonathan Keiko is Jonathan Keiko. Yet again, faced against those odds. That was clearly an emotional moment for him. As you say, he came back. He battled through. Showing tons of heart. He did it all. He did all he could. He left it on the platform. Yeah. Whatever Gustav does. And all the other lifters, Tim Monagati, Kaiko can leave knowing you left it all on the yeah, platform. Absolutely. That was a great performance. Sensing the opportunity, Gustav made a daring challenge for the Sheffield Crown, which is not dissimilar to last season's World Classic matchup between both enigmatic athletes. With much artiness, Gustav attempted a PR deadlift of 355 kilograms, therefore, relinquishing Jonathan's ambition of being crowned champion of champions and arguably causing one of the biggest upset of the championships. This would be huge. He's done 345 on the first platform. Can he do 10 kilos more? If he wins not only the battle of the 93s, but moves himself into first place, A story that would be. Oh! Done it. It was and easy. Revenge it is for Gustav Hedlund. He's waited all these years for this moment to finally emerge as the number 193, and here we are. It's not quite over, but it's hard to see how he could be knocked off the top spot now. Carlos. Peterson Griffith still left the pole, but wow. Gustav quite rightly enjoying his moment. He's in first place. Ultimately, Gustav finished his championship campaign with a margin of 0.79% above Jonathan's IP of total record of 888 kilograms, which resulted in a new IP of total record of 895 kilograms versus Jonathan's 893 kilograms total. See then with even more suspense, the drama unfolding didn't end there. Jesus Oliveres, the defending champion, the strongest pound for pound existing powerlifter on the planet, after a dire or less than ideal championship performance, made a gutsy attempt to retain his crown with an unimaginable deadlift attempt of 429 kilograms. It's worth keeping in mind that Jesus's deadlift baseline projection stood between 380.74 kilograms and 395.33 kilograms. However, if his last season's best deadlift of 410 kilograms was purely taken into account, his baseline increases between 416.27 kilograms and 432.22 kilograms. Unfortunately, in the end, Azus had to surrender his crown to Gustav, whose future appears even more brighter within the sport. This is the most dramatic final deadlift. This one pull is worth 35,000 pounds. 35,000 pounds on the line. It's a year's salary.
Oh. Well, that is not how we expected this to go at all. And Gustav Hedlund. That's incredible. I did not have him in top spot. Hedlund, your 2024 Sheffield World Champion. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm uh, speechless, actually. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, it's like world new, new total world record, winning, oh, it's amazing, it's like, I was like, what? <laughs> and it was easy, I had so much more to give. Wow. I felt, yeah, strong.